should check out what we're doing here first, make sure everything is So many of the Maltese, Lucky, the darker Maltese mix, Grace, the Poodle Maltese Poo. Okay. I don't know who I'm going to get first. We've groomed him before, and make sure you read the description. I did take time to write in there for you. He's actually a Maltese mix, and most people are not going to believe it, but that's just what he is. And we just go with whatever the pet parent tells us, unless they tell us otherwise. You know what I'm saying? Some people I remember were like, he's not a Maltese. Well, he's not my pet either. And, you know, quite frankly, the mom is a veterinarian, so she probably knows better than me. <laughs> Because she's the one that picked him up and rescued him and stuff like that. So we usually do a seven all over, but because this time around it took her a while to get in because of my bookings, I'm going to go ahead and just take him down with a ten. It's barely a difference to see the difference between a ten and a seven. And he, he's actually pretty dark, right? So let me see here. Let me show you guys. You guys already know this, man. But here, let's show, I'm going to show you the difference between a 7 and a 10. It's very similar. So we're going to do a 10 here. Okay, uh, I'm doing my Andis 5 speed. Pick, please pick him up with us. And then we're going to do a 7 right next to it. It's not even a big difference. Look at this. Lucky, I'm going to turn you this way. Can you see there's hardly a difference? I mean, very... Let me get this lighting over here. So, 7, 10. And there was a spot there. It's, it's kind of hard to tell, but... 7, 10. Can you really see a difference? Not really. Not that big of a difference. So, some folks are like, don't shave them down. Use a 7. Okay, it's the same thing. Uh, it's very, very similar. So we're going to do a 10. We're going to do a 10 all over. Because, I mean, it takes a, just a shy down more. Just a shy down. Make sure you, if you haven't subscribed, you subscribe. I really want to hear those bing bings today. I love those. And... I'm so glad. I wasn't going to go live. I have a lot going on, but I was like, the last minute, I was like, go ahead and go go live. When I groom these guys, since they're all disabled, like missing a limb, you know, missing a toe, it's, you want to focus. You want to be able to focus and not have to worry about too much. You know what I mean? So I'm letting him just sit like he normally would. He gets around really well, considering he's only got one back leg. Nice and smooth, man. We can literally go to the bath and probably not have to touch up at all, which saves so much time and 
today my wrist is really bothering me. I was like, what did I do, you know? What are you guys up to, huh? Are you guys working today? Who's, are you guys at home today? Are you in bed? What are you guys doing right now? Yeah, my hand is really bothering me. I don't know why. Because yesterday I didn't do any grooming. It was our day off, but we came in. Um, I have some paperwork I'm working on right now. If you're a business owner, there's no day off, is there? There's not a real day off. Sleepy? Are you sleepy? <laughs> Okay, let me get you some a little bit of support here. See, it's too short. So some folks are like, hey, which one do I get? I'm like, hey, you need to measure. Don't guesstimate. Please measure. Okay, so we're going to give him just a little support here. He can rest if he wants to. Get your dog up sand at dogupstand.com. Here we go. You resting? Yeah, there you go. There you go, buddy. He's totally just sitting on the stand, man. He's totally sitting on the stand. I'm so grateful for this stand. He's sitting up there. He's sitting up there. You're so cute. You're so smart. You want to sit down now? You want to lay, lay it down? Come down off of there? I know you guys want to feel real sorry for him, but he's lucky, his name's Lucky, and we're past that, you know? So he's, he doesn't even know the difference. I mean, he's doing really well with it. There may have been a time where, you know, he was going through and healing and stuff like that, but now we're at a whole different place, so we have to press on, you know? So I don't look at him and feel sorry. My heart does melt a little bit, but I'm so glad we're here and I try not to remind him that where he's been. Does that make sense? Because they do feel that. Uh, if you're gonna sit here and be like, oh, you know, like, it's, it's already gone. We're, we're, in a, we're in a different place now, you know? He got rescued and saved and helped and everything like that, whatever he went through. And now we're, we got to press on to some great things, okay? So be careful not to um, get too emotional when you're grooming disabled pets. You want to help them. You want to do the job. You want to get them done. But if you feel sorry for it, if I do that twist right there, something's up. You feel sorry for them too much, you might not be able to work. Recognize it and then move on. And then we're, in, we're a whole different place, aren't we? Yes, we are. You have to move forward, okay? And you might you might take that in your own life. You have to move forward. It's hard. No one said it's not going to be hard, but don't s sit and swaddle in yourself, you know, and you know what I mean, right? Don't sit and sit there too long. I 
I saw. Licking some hair in here or what? You guys know the drill. Make sure you smash the like button. Did I get a... Diane, thank you so much. I did get something in my mouth. <laughs> Eating breakfast and yogurt. Watching HDTV on the YouTube and you on my phone. Nice. Boy, if I could watch anything, it'd be 2020. I would have 2020 and Nightline going at the same time. <laughs> Nightline in 2020. Ah, oh, lucky. Let me see this arm here, buddy. You can lay down. You can stay down. I think we're done with most of that stuff. I need to get up under you. Anybody out there have a black Maltese? Black Maltese is out there, anybody? Okay. Man. I wouldn't say they exist, but he, um, he's a, like a mix, you know what I mean? Like he was rescued, who knows? I don't think she's ever done a genetics on him, a DNA test. She goes, just say he's a Maltese. He's a Maltese mixed with something. Okay, we got to do the 40 blade. Let me check his head scenario here. Four guard reverse, teddy bear head, or cute face. Okay. So get our four guard out. You can use the wall version, or you can use the Oster version. We're doing a quarter inch, basically, and we're going to go reverse here. We went kind of short, and we went to the, you know, the 7, or sorry, the 10 down. So, I mean, you could possibly get away with just 7, 7 down. What is up with my hand, man? Like, what did I do? These guards are so great, you could just minimize using scissors so much if you want to use the guards. Human barbers use guards all day long, don't they? How many of you guys do human hair? You want to come out flat on the ears, don't just, you got to keep that ear hole flat, flat. Sheila, hey, what's up? Dean, are you out there? Pat, Pam, Callie, Melissa P, my favorite people, are you out there? Arturo, I got your package getting ready to go out today, Arturo. Arturo, I said you were from Puerto Rico the other day. He's actually from Belize, that was my mistake. I was like, it was Belize, not Puerto Rico. What am I thinking? I got too much on my mind, that's why. A lot going on, you know what I mean? Just get all that off. We'll fix it up after we get it pretty cleaned up, too. Arturo is out there. Maybe I did sleep on it. I literally it was. I was tossing and turning last night. Okay, so let's change our tin blade. Um, let's come back with a different tin because it's getting warm. Seriously, think I have a piece of hair in my mask here. <laughs> Make sure you got a face mask. Betty, are you out there? Huh? Have you, have you looked up Belize? Belize? I've been to Belize. It is beautiful, man. I got really tore up there for my birthday one year. <laughs> I got tore up in Belize, you guys. I don't even want to tell you. I don't even want to tell you how tore up I got. It was so hilarious. I was really having a great birthday party there. I went on a cruise by myself. I had a blast. I met some friends that will last a lifetime.
I'm going to come here with my tin blade. Watch that ear flap. You know, the way I groom is not for everybody. It's just for me and the client. That's really what it comes down to. And for you guys to watch and maybe go, that's exactly what I need to do to my dog, you know. Got these watery eyes. Yeah. We'll come back now with the 40, clean up the pads. They look extremely long. Alright, shall we try this? Here we go. Thank you for your donation. I appreciate you. It means a lot to me. Still have hair coming from somewhere here. What is the deal? Is it just stuck on the side of my face or what? I'm gonna have you, do I need you to stand up? We'll see, let me come over here. Okay. Not really, huh? You ever notice that the dogs that have been through so much, you know, they're the nicest of dogs? Have you ever noticed that? The pit bull that got burned with oil, I mean, the nicest dog, like, did you see that one? Where uh, somebody had poured cooking oil all over a pit bull? I think that was here in Dallas. And, uh... That dog goes around to schools and everything like this, and it's just amazing. Like the you would never the dog is doesn't act like it has ever been through that. You know what I mean? Get your ear shears out. These are like a 6.5 straights with the point tip. I use them on every ear. You know what I mean? Just straight, short. Whatever you want to do. You want a short shear, shear meaning scissor, when you're working with the ears because sometimes you don't really pay attention how long you're cutting. And you can literally cut, be cutting the ear and come down and cut the leg hair. And you're like, oh crap, you know, this is really long shear. So for ear shears, you want really short shears. If you don't have that, go on our website. You can order them at myfavoritegroomer.com. If you hold that flesh right in your hand, you would never cut it because the only thing outside of your hand would be just hair. Right? Yeah, the, the animals that I've gone through so much are usually like the sweetest. How is that even possible? It just shows you what you know, what we can be as humans, we should be doing the same thing, you know? We can't do that. Someone cuts me off and I'm mad at them. I don't even know who they are. I'm mad at them for a week. You remember that guy that cut me off on that intersection? That pissed me off. <laughs> okay, let me see here. Does that help a little bit? Just in case, you can rest here while I brush this out. Make sure you smash the like button, folks. Hit the share. 106 of you guys out there watching. If you don't like the video, you can hit the dislike button. Some of you guys are being quiet. You don't want to let me know you don't like me. 
just so that you can continue watching. That means I know you're supporting me in one way, shape, or form. So go ahead and dislike the video. Your time watching the video contributes to everything we do here. So thanks for spending your time with me, right, people? <laughs> Christine T, did you email me the picture of your daughter's face? Is that you? I love you. <laughs> love you too. Yeah, Shih Tzu Maltese. Yeah, I can see that. Thanks, Monica. Are you a mix? Are you a mix? Mixes are the best, aren't they? Oh, I got to take that from you. All right, I think we should go to the bath. What you think? Huh? Let's do this. Okay, up. Go this way with it. Try to make it nice and simple. Get your apron on. You don't have an apron, go ahead and pick one up at myfavoritegroomer.com. So look, we got some really cool stuff happening. We always travel the world. Every, uh, every year we go to certain places uh, religiously to deliver uh, grooming supplies. And if you haven't seen us last year, we went to Hawaii. We, I actually been have, going to Hawaii once a year for probably six, seven years now. And in the lieu of going to Hawaii, I pick up some gifts for you guys, or I'll pick up uh, really cool stuff. You can look in our gift section on myfavoritegroomer.com for some stuff I picked up in Hawaii last time. If it's something really cute and all this and that, I'll pick up something, you know, and bring it home and, sit and sell it to you guys, because I know you can't get it if you've never been to Hawaii. But we are about to take our trip soon in June for Hawaii and I created a, a listing on um, myfavoritegroomer.com under gifts and it is uh, you spend 30 bucks you know 1% uh, 3% immediately goes to fees because that's just how it works so you get 29 bucks where uh, I'll buy you whatever you know I'm gonna surprise you with a gift so if you want me to pick you something up in Hawaii while I'm there Go ahead and go and purchase that. So you can purchase as many as you want, and I will get you up to the dollar amount that you spend on uh, your gift. And it's going to be a surprise gift. There's no refunds, obviously, but I can't tell you what it'll be because I'll be walking around and I'll be like, oh, I need to get that. It's purple, pink, or whatever, right? Whatever you tell me in the comment section at checkout, I'm going to get it for you. Um, Color-wise and stuff like that. You want towels. You want cute stuff. You want something for your car. You want something for your dogs. You know, something like that. But it'll be like Hawaiian style. So if you're interested in getting uh, something from Hawaii and I'll pick it out for you and you want me to pick it up for you, do. When, when I, if I could have somebody do that for me, I would be like, hey, sis, are you going to Germany? Pick me up this and that, this and that. Some feinling, you know, feinling alcohol. Have you ever tried the feinling alcohol in, in Germany? Oh, my gosh, it's so tasty. And then the chocolates and stuff. You know what I mean? So if someone could pick me up something from Hawaii or Germany, or Guam, or all the places that I've been that I can't go every year, I would be like, here, here's some money. So I'm offering that to you because I would do that. Um, you don't have to, but if you happen to want something from Hawaii, and it's June 2019, and you can get that ASAP to us, then uh, on our trip to Hawaii to, to bring supplies to groomers out there, then um, we will do that for you. So go, it's under the gift section. It's called Hawaii Gift and just read the ad so you understand it and that's at myfavoritegroomer.com this is just a very temporary listing once we get on the road I'm not going to have it open because it's too, it's too much but I won't tell you when we're going but I can tell you it's pretty soon right Lucky? you're such a good boy yes you are you're so lucky you're so lucky man He's such a good dog, isn't he? Oh, he already posted a link. Cool. He gets some pretty cool stuff in Hawaii. I really get some pretty cool stuff. I have this eclectic 
kind of thing that I do. I don't know. It's colorful, fun, soft, Asian like. Maybe you know. always picks up the awesome stuff. You want some chopsticks? I know a place that has like every kind of chopstick. I'm gonna refrain from getting a bunch of glass stuff, but I would pick up um, some of those of pineapple things. things. Oh, that, that was from San Francisco, bro. Stuff like that. Don't you like stuff like that? I do. I don't want a bunch of junk, but you give me something that I can gift away or something I can hang in my car, you know? It something is awesome island style. Gift. Oh yeah, I guess you I guess you got me my nails done. Uh, oh yeah, macadamia nuts, man. Those suckers are expensive too, man. They got toffee, macadamia nuts, salt, and something, something, macadamia caramel, milk, chocolate, dark chocolate. They got some serious macadamia nuts, and we've tried all kinds, so I know that some of the tastiest ones, the turtle ones. Oh, they're so good. And like, um, you can get them in the U.S., but there's just something different about the ones that you get in Hawaii, right? Not not U.S., but you know, here in Texas, at the grocery store. So I'm gonna let Lucky air dry while I work on the next pet. I think this is gonna help him. You can opt to air dry if the pet parent lets you air dry, if they're okay with it, and you can explain it too. But when you do shortcuts like this, air dry really. It, it, they dry pretty fast. Now, all salons are not going to do that. They won't even ask because that's, they're just not, they're designed to go fast and, you know, get, get a lot of dogs in and out. They're going to cage dry or blow dry no matter what. So, in my salon, it is a one on one. So, if they're senior pets or disabled like him, I'm just going to give them, you know, I'm just going to chill more. We're going to chill more and just kind of fine tune the groom based off of what we're doing. And if I know he can air dry okay, you know what I mean? Go ahead and opt to air dry. I've gotten some emails that other people have been like, Didi, you know what? I'm air drying too, you know? And I just tell the pet parent that, this and that. Sometimes they dry so fast, you don't even have to mention it. You're going to be like, there's three dogs here. They're all getting a tin all over. You can opt to air dry, you know what I mean? And you'll see on the blind baby, you're going to be like, why? Just let her air dry. Why not, right? Okay, come on, Lucky. We're going to let you air dry. You rest at the same time. And then we're going to come back and take you guys back over here. I need this on a roller, don't I? All right. Okay. One of the, Mal the Maltese back there, the real, like you could tell, there's that's a definitely Maltese. She is so fragile and thin and everything like that. No cut looks good on her. Like, she's so bony, you know. I mean, I guess if you left her long and foo-fooed it and all that stuff, it probably, you could probably do something with it. Oh, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You can, you can't. You shut the door because you got two coming out at you. All right, you guys. <clears> the <throat> one's excited, man. It's like running around in She's circles. She's so around. fragile. Her heart, and she definitely has some heart issues. So, this is Maltese, eight years old, five pounds, mini. All right, mini. Love me some turtles, my favorite. That I swear mini turtle. was a... Uh, Grace is a multi poo, eight point five pounds, three years old. I think I might be getting confused, but okay, here we you go. You guys have to see this turtle then. I think that one's awesome. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, that's the kind of stuff I like. I like stuff like that. Okay. Hey, bro, this is. It's not even online awesome. yet. Awesome. With a stash spot. 
Don't drop it, please. You know how he'd be like dropping it and always breaking my stuff. Hey. Enough of that nonsense. Jason Moama. You guys go purchase, go buy that link and everything like that, and then put it in your uh, checkout comments. I'm not sure what Moama is, but I'll look, I'll look around. <laughs> okay, ten all over. Thank you, Tasha. No one can hear you, I don't think. So Angela McGee had texted me and said, hey, Dee Dee, do you move the skin around? Yeah, if you're coming down the spinal cord, you don't want to go boom, 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 boom down the spine. You want to move that skin side to side. You know, that's what you want to do. I'm seeing some black stuff. I really just now, now you're going to go, okay, keep an eye out for fleas, right? I'm booked on probably till July on that, but you have to check. But we need to verify Vax first. I don't know why they wait till the last minute. I don't want to wait till the last minute. The problem is, is just the way people book their, I don't like the way they booking system. So like this pet, uh, you know, like watching uh, some of the Korean groomers out there, I could see, you know, you could really do something cute here, but I think the problem that we have is if your client's not going to come in, but every three to four months, then that's why we we always do it, you know, the pet parent says, shave, shave them all the way down. I mean, they're, they don't want anything left because it might be a while, you know what I mean? Because I'm sure we could do something really cute here. Uh, someone else's banner from the mobile grooming unit that I bought. Oh. I don't really hang on to it. I decided to let it go. Nothing I could do with it. Exactly. She didn't want it. You guys don't forget to donate a couple bucks if you can. Help support the stream. Help support Didi. If you guys enjoy watching Didi, then. Donate. Everyone donate a dollar, man. Just Don one dollar, ninety-nine cents. Everybody donate pitch in. A cup of bucks. I'm like donate ninety-nine cents. <laughs> okay. If you've never contributed, this is your time right now. This is you. You hope they have jackets. Who are you talking about? The dogs? California Lee Rally. Why does a dog need a jacket? We humanize our pets. You know this, right? Yep. Damn, my wrist. <laughs> Sunny outside. Is the sun outside? 
Dogs are meant to be outside. Are they? Yeah. I think we domesticated them enough that they're... Depending on the pet, and this senior pet here, which she's going blind. I think... Mm. I, I think that pet needs to be with that other pet. Like this that. this type this type of dog, kind of a different type of dog, you know, like. What do we got going on back here? Woohoo! Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, Machina, goes back thank to you. The Lee Rally, the thank you. Lee Rally gave yesterday too. Like back in the day, how did this dog used to make it outside without getting brushed, you know? I don't know. Unless the, the humans made this dirty, you know? I'm gonna lift that up actually. So fragile, you know? Okay. Come on, girl. Let's see here. Good night, donation. Christine, woohoo! We got some, uh, Europe money. What is that? London money? Luxembourg? Good. We'll save it for when we go. Stupid. You're so funny. I think YouTube fixes it. Why can't they just give me that type of money, man? When's the last time you went? You've never been, so... Bro. It would sit there for how long if they gave it to you in international dollars? It would sit there. Not too long, but it would sit there. I can just, I can just sit on it until it's worth more value and then go change it out when it's worth more value. You know what I mean? No, I'm not, I'm not there with you, man. Like the Mexican dollar changes value each day. If I have a dollar in Mexican and it's worth more today, I could go change it out. And it's worth more so it's worth less. You don't have the time to do that, man. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You don't even have time to finish your work here. What's he talking about, you guys? Can somebody out there donate 10 pesos? Stupid! What does the peso symbol look like? I don't even know. Are they even online? Do they even have online currency? Go over there and get to work. Oh, do they even Please have... just stop just over here messing my... Go! Do they even have credit cards You go! Go over there and get to work. Gosh. Did you see he almost knocked the camera down? Okay, come on. You gotta work with me here, okay? This is not working out for me. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Really not knotted up in there. Can I see, please? Look over here. All right, let's move on to something else for a minute.
I got my nails done. They're just painted. And uh, for my birthday, which is really late, but Cynthia took me to get my nails done on Sunday. You know, Charlie's mom. Charlie's mom. I don't get my nails done very often. But she, I said, I'm just going to do my feet. And she said, I'm doing my nails. You're doing your nails. <laughs> Because I think that when you paint your nails as a groomer, it just goes away pretty fast. So I usually don't do it, you know, unless I'm going somewhere. And I actually get to enjoy them for more than a day. Because it's not cheap, right? It really inhibits uh, the proper grooming that needs to happen here. Because then it makes it just more dangerous. So I need to have a little bit of something, something for looking up here. She needs to look up for me. I can't cut your ears and everything properly if uh, the pet's looking down. It makes it very like, what am I cutting? So you need to adjust as you need to do the job. And just do this roundabout scenario. We'll come back at it later. Let me see. Make sure if you just got here, you smash the like button, hit the share on your social media, throw it on your Instagram page. You can always share stuff with me if you just do pound my favorite groomer. I will see it out there on the web. Google's pretty amazing like that. So if you got something you want me to see, a picture or something, you'll be like, Didi, check this out. Pound my favorite groomer on it. No matter where you do it on your social media. Teeth are really bad. All right, so... um. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll come up in the face a little bit here. Let me see here. Let me take all this out. I want to get this washed off too. It's real dried and crusty in there. Let me see. I know that was probably definitely see in her eye here. Do you see the white? go here. Let me see what that let's wash it first, huh? Let's wash it first. Yeah. Look at your chest. We gotta get that off too, don't we? Yes we do. Alright, let's come back with our 40 blade now. Take a tin right here first. New member, welcome Doodlecraft 56. Okay, let me see here. See, if you're gonna fit a small, I'm gonna be very surprised. See how tall she is? Look at this. So some folks will call me and be like, hey, I got a five pound. I'm gonna be, I, it doesn't matter how much the pet weighs. You have to measure. 
Look at this tiny dog. She's in the small. Isn't that crazy? I think it's crazy. She don't even fit the mini. So now we get, gave her a little bit of support there. I'll probably come back and give her support when I do her nails. Because at this point, she can sit down. Cynthia, if you're out there watching, thanks for my nails. I do love them. They're so shiny, man. They're so shiny. Smash the like button, people. We have a $50. I think that's the Melissa P. We have a, yes, yeah, you did it a while Melissa ago. Melissa P. Woo, I didn't see that. Girl, you are too much. Boy, I got a gift coming for you. We she got did. 147 viewers. Come on, just hit the like button. We have like 60 likes. Hit the like button and uh, hit the dislike button if that's who you are. But also, Melissa P., I got a gift coming for you. She ended up being the one that actually ordered the iPad that we talked about the other day. The other person actually ordered the iPad cover. I was like, girl, you ordered the iPad cover. I don't know, man. I don't know what happened with that. So Melissa P. ordered the iPad that I had available. I've got a Roku out there on uh, My Favorite Groomer underused. If you need a Roku for your TV, if you don't have a smart TV and you need a attachment, it's uh, going to be, isn't it? I think it has both cords, or not cords, but it has both hookups, HDMI as well as the old style colorful cords. I don't know, bro. I don't know. On the Roku. Can you get YouTube on the Roku? Is that how you do it? Yeah. You can get all kinds of apps on the Roku. Yeah, up to a thousand channels. Thousand channels on the Roku? Wow. I mean, nothing's free, but it's a device that helps you, you know, if you don't have a smart TV yet. I went ahead and did her nails now because they are so long. I mean, super long. I'm here for watching. Come on, guys. I'm waiting for that like button. Dave is going to have me log off here if we don't get enough likes. At least type in the, if you've already liked the video, type in the chat a thumbs up. Go. If, if you dislike the video, type in the chat a thumbs down. And it's okay, I'm not going to dislike you. <laughs> He's going to dislike you? What? Okay, ready? Let's go to the bath. Thumbs up. Yeah. For all our members out there, go ahead and use the mask like button emoji or the heart emoji. Let's Why are you go. making so much noise, girl? David, I don't care if you like me or not. You don't have to like me. I'm not here for you to like me. No, I, got it. I have a system. Oh, you have a system? I have a system. And the, the, you're, if you do it that way, you just tangle up my wires for me. I un untangled everything, and then I come turn around, and you, the way you do it, you tangle everything up. I don't want all this tangled up. I had a system here. We should, uh, we should put twist this on all of us. On everything. I should not be doing this right now. 
I do. I have a system. Don't mess with my. Don't mess with my stuff. I had it all laid out real nice. Five thousand wires here. No, there's three. There's three wires. The fire hazard, bro. You're a fire hazard. Fire hazard right here. You're a fire hazard. Causing me to slow down. All these lights, man. Who told you have this light here? Is the top working? Oh, okay. Yeah. Good to go. I'm gonna get your face cleaned up, okay? All them boogers and stuff. My favorite is this long stem flea comb, so make sure you get one because they're really important. You can really get in there. See if you can see all this stuff on her face. This right here. Okay, hold on. Don't get mad. Look at all this stuff. We have the little one too, but I really like the handle. So if you're working with an aggressive dog, then you can really get in there still and not truly get bit. Get your tearless puppy shampoo, face shampoo. Come down. See, dogs still want to be dogs, man. Get it around, but you still want to kind of avoid the eyeballs, you know. Okay, let me come in again here. Look at all that, you guys. And it was really crusty and hard um, on the table. Look at all this. I gotta work that later. Look at all that. You can really see she's such a tiny dog, huh? my favorite water nozzle. You can get it at myfavoritegroomer.com. I've had this one for like 10 years at least. Never had to replace it. Other ones, I was replacing them like every six months. They would break. Couldn't use them in my mobile van. 
because the heat, if they were sitting in the heat for too long, stuff like that. Little things I had no idea. Same thing with the water hose. We went through like four different water hoses. Hey, Didi, do you know who talks me? This is Mini. Mini? Uh huh. This is Maltese, and then the other one's Malti Poo. She's about 10 years old. Is she? Yeah. Oh. They want to know her age. That's oh. She's about 10. Not too old. Yeah, all the pets not seem really old, don't they? And I'm like, actually, they're not, they're not 15. Who's Lucy? The, I'm pretty sure it's the other one. The, the young looking one. Wait, is it Minnie the black one? Oh, the black one. So the black one's 10. The black one's Lucky. Okay, Lucky. Lucky's eight. He's the only boy. Lucky's eight, then. They seem old, don't they? Grace is five, so that that makes sense. Five, ten, and the black one. This eight. one's ten. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking like six or something. But I guess it's been how long since the first time she came in? Two years. I've been grooming two years now. That's what I thought. I put that in the description. I think. So I'm just adding two years to the numbers you have here. Oh yeah, that makes sense. It says eight years plus, so you. On her. Yeah. So they're oh, not that sure. makes sense. She's rescued. She might be older. Yeah. Older than ten. Yeah. You want to see your teeth? Yeah. They're bad. Let's go close up on the teeth. I think maybe, I don't know, maybe she's never going to do a dental. I mean, she's a veterinarian, so. Can you see? Are you hurrying? Yep. I'm can not going to hold it here. Can we get some group on teeth whining or something for No, her? it's not worth it. I, I don't think there's nothing here that we can do. Dang. Nothing's going to help that. Did you see it? Yeah, it's bad. That, Nothing's like, going to help that, like you guys. You can do Pets Life Gel, but it's just its really far off, far gone. It would be a last hope, you know what I mean? But it needs to be consistent anyway, so in my opinion. All right, let's let her air dry. Just imagine back then and back in the days when humans didn't brush their teeth either. Who would shut the panel like that? When humans didn't brush their teeth, I bet they were the same way, like that. <laughs> oh, I bet. Here. I need to learn how to tighten this before this one. Come here, Grace. Oh. Grace. I really need a room loop for her. to have one here. Gosh. We still haven't said 
yellow one we used to have here. There you go. Okay, last one, but then we gotta do a repeat on everybody. This is our last rough in. Okay, look up for me. Okay, let's do this. What's up, girl? Hey, hey. There we go. So I don't know that I'm going to finish out all the dogs on uh, YouTube. I can kind of see that David's not getting any work done. And he has actually a lot to do right now. So I told him if we can, if he can stay working, then I'll go live. But I can see he's, he's over there on the computer helping you guys. And so I don't think I'm going to finish. I'll do the rough ends all with you guys, but I think we're going to call it after that because he has a lot to do. You just don't, you don't even know, have an idea. The agreement was if he can still do what he needs to do, then he can, uh, we'll go live. But I can see right now he's not able to do what he needs to do. He's over here. He's over here approving stuff. That means he has to keep watching it. He has to keep watching the feed. So we might close out after this. So I don't know if you remember me grooming her. She's missing this back paw back here. Right, you're missing the back paw? Yeah. If you read the description of the video, you saw that the mom is a, the pet parent is a veterinar veterinarian. So she, boy, she, she has this really soft spot for pets that are missing their limbs or has to have a limb removal. Really big soft spot for these pets. She'd be the first to be like, oh, if you don't want to, care or you know I'll take her home you know what I mean David has work he needs to do and this is holding him back I knew it would I said I don't want to interrupt what you got going on if you can if you can do your work and not be interrupted he goes yeah I can I'm not gonna be interrupted but he's over here walking around yeah, but I told you, I can't, you can't help me when you have all that work to do, man. There's no way I need that stuff done like pronto. We have these little socks. Um, I think she would probably, she could probably definitely use that sock and help help um, protect that nub she has over there.
Don't do that. I'm trying to help you out here. Don't do that. Do that. How about that? There you go. Rest your knee on there. Oh yeah, I guess I would help their paws. Especially if they're big dogs though. Little dogs slip inside, you know? Hey, did we have haters talking to us? Is that what we did? David thinks I can hear him over the clippers. He's, he has no idea. I cannot hear what he's saying over there. I don't have to prove anything to anybody. I just want you guys to know that. They're waiting around. They tell me all the time, you know, we're waiting around for you to fuck up. But you know what? I don't have to prove anything. <laughs> I'm already here doing what I do. Where are you? You're on my channel watching me. <laughs> You're not doing what I'm doing. You're on your on my channel. And there's no videos on their channel. Usually. I don't know about everyone. I don't have the time to go sit here and do that. Because I'm busy. Aren't I busy? I'm busy helping people. It's funny to me, man. funny to me that people have so much time to waste. They don't know the value of their, their own time. Value your time, people. If you don't know what that means, that means if you're not happy doing something, if it makes you so mad, don't do it. Go do something that makes you happy. That means you, you know, go out dancing or go, go do something else. Why would you waste time watching me if you hate me? Because I don't think you want to admit that you don't hate me. That's just the only way you know how to communicate is through hate. Is there a hater out there watching right now that doesn't want to say something? <laughs> of course there is. But see, I don't even have the time right now to acknowledge, like, go over there and look at what you said. I don't even have the time.
Hi, baby girl. Hi. Hi, baby girl. Let me see your chin chin. You still have stuff to look up under there. Can you go look up for me? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Good up. Look up. Yeah, look up. You want to sit down? You can sit down. Change out your template. Let's do this. Okay. Get your four guard out again. Everybody got a four guard reverse teddy bear head. Yep, Chastity, that's right. Every view gives me credit towards the hours viewed. So whether you like it or not, you're contributing, right? Do they not know that? <laughs> Keep it coming, man. Keep it coming. YouTube will be like, dude, you're complaining about this channel, but you're watching it nonstop. <laughs> I mean, what? It doesn't make sense, does it? No, it doesn't. Look at your cute face. Yeah. You're making it work. Oh my, oh my goodness. Let me see, please. What's up? Are you looking at yourself up there? Do you guys see her looking at herself? Are you looking at yourself? That's you up there. Yeah, that's you up there. Don't do that. Double check some stuff here. Did I go down here? Barely. Hundred and thirty three, smash the like button, hit share, share, share. What's up, Lawrence? Hey, hello. I got a letter in there. Don't forget the letter.
Sit. Do you want to sit? Not really. Okay. Do you want support? Do you want me to help you up here? Hold your leg up? Yes. <laughs> yes, I want support. She is, it's helping her there. Oh, that's my stuff. Well, oil wipe? Yeah, I ordered some oil stuff. Oh, okay. What's that other big box then? I don't know. Right there, down there on the floor. I'm gonna open them right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, great. Really? I got some really cool oil stuff for you guys. Can't wait to show you. You gotta go to the doTERRA oil area on my website. You can give them a, a peek. You can give them a peek. Did you see the colorful, um, the colorful ones? Oh yeah. Don't break them, please, and push that box all the way in. I got you. Baby. It's like half off. I got you, baby. No, he doesn't. Have to. Don't worry, I got you. <laughs> Essential oil. Um. Ooh, look at the bottles I got. Oh, yeah. Look how pretty those blue ones are. That's to rub your essential oils Ooh. on you. It's so pretty, man. So, are you people ordering essential oils from us? You can order it at microgroomer.com in the essential oil section. All right, looks like we need to get a 40 still, huh? Are you guys having fun out there watching? Should we keep going? David, yeah. needs, David needs to get to work. No, I'm good, dude. Trust me. There's no tab duty on that one. We've got essential oils now in stock, so if you guys need some on guard, go get some on guard. You want to sit down? I'll let you sit down. Remember, she doesn't have a foot on the back side, so she wants to sit. Let her sit, man. I got you. I got you. That hurt a little bit. Pretty matted right there. Are you guys happy we're live, or would you prefer to just watch the video later? I love my nails too. Cynthia got them for my birthday. Thanks. I love 40 below too. Thank you for your donation. Everyone do a $2 donation. Caterpillar, what's up? Caterpillar is working on a free gift or something. What's going on? I already have the pet sitter's number. The cat groom. What? That you talked to yesterday. The cat groom? Man, what's her name? No, she's not on schedule. 
she sent vaccinations yesterday. I deleted them already because oh. she said she need. I, I told her to send everything all over because she said it was going to be like a week. She has to start over. And I can't get her in until July. She already knows that. I already texted her yesterday, all that. Okay. Well, you need to take a message. Have her text me or I'm not going to get it. Tell her to text me everything if she got that vaccination done already. David, is she on the phone still? She said, she said that the feline distemper was in the feline respiratory. Oh. That, that's how that, that, um, that Yeah, so I've never, I've never heard of that before, so every vet's different, so. She tried to go take her in and she's like, why? You already have them. Oh, feline I've never heard respiratory. Yeah, feline respiratory. I've never seen that before. Thank you guys for your donations. I appreciate you. I got it, man. Stop trying to butt in. See your way out. Well, I was actually going to say, what's it worth to her? And I wanted to double check if she's getting a shave down or what. You know what I mean? What is it worth? You need to know what it's worth. To cat matted, stuff like that. Get some details. I can't remember. So I can't remember different discussions I have because you guys know. How many of you have gotten an email from me? Say I have. Say, you guys say I have on YouTube. Have you? Who's gotten an email from me? Who's gotten more than one email from me? There's no way that I'm going to remember a text message like three weeks ago. There's just no way I'm going to remember that conversation. You know what I'm saying? Who got an email? If I'm emailing 65, 85 emails a day, there's no way... A person could remember an email, a text, a Facebook message, a Wix message, all these messages. How many emails, how many of you guys gotten an email from me? Or how about this? How many have you gotten a more than one email from me? Because you wrote me this and that. That's just email. Man, I'm just, it's too much. So the lady with the cat, she texted me yesterday. Vax, and it, it didn't say feline distemper. It said something, 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 feline respiratory. I don't know what that is. I guess that's distemper. So she went today to get it, right? And this was over a week and a half ago or something like that. She wanted to get in. So then a week later, she's like, here's my vax. I don't remember what you talked about with me. And I told her yesterday, I said, I'm going to delete your text messages. I get way too many text messages to have them all sitting here saved. It bogs down your memory on your phone. So I said, when you, when you um, get it done, everything you have to start over because I'm not going to remember it. I mean, just we're human. Have you guys received an email? Say, I have. I have, Dee Dee. Matter of fact, we go back and forth, <laughs> right? Sheila, we go back and forth. Betty, we go back and forth. Callie, we go back and forth. I mean, I do the best I can, but there's only one person here standing here talking to you, me. I had sent some emails to people. They don't email me back on YouTube. You must be kidding me. I order some stuff on Amazon or whatever and some other companies and I call them. They don't pick up the phone. You must be kidding me. Me too. I've asked, I've asked a YouTube person to Recognize. And they don't even answer my questions. They're too popular and too big to even talk to you. So come on, people. Recognize that. Support the little people, people. got it down just a swing turn around that's all you have to do is just a swing turn around right can you tell <laughs> can you tell what I'm doing mm -hmm. I got it in come on people smash the like button donate a couple bucks help out the stream support the stream um, share us Share us on your um, groomer, groomer posts, pages. Share us on your um, groomer talking bullshit pages. <laughs> do us a favor, just do that.
Sarah's on your groomer rant pages. Who's on a groomer rant page? I'm, I'm asking them if they can please share us to those pages. Share on Facebook or? Yeah. You, David, I saw David. I want you guys to know that. I don't like to get involved. But David's like, Petey, you're not allowed. Because I'm not bigger than them. There. I'm bigger than them. I'm going to make it bigger than them. What groomer rant pages are you on? Go ahead, haters, put it out there. What rant page are you on? And groomers talking smack about other groomers. Share us on that page. And then also, like, I know so if exists. I go and try to invite myself to a page like that, do you think that they would approve it? <laughs> uh, I would be like, I would be surprised if they approved it. Why wouldn't they? I'm a groomer. Yeah, I want to go in there and talk smack about them. I should be able to do that, right? I'm going to go apply to it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. David's got way more time than I do. I don't know how many of you guys saw what time I got home last night on Me and You Gaming. Do you guys know what time I worked till last night? Me and You Gaming, go subscribe to Me and You Gaming. If you haven't subscribed to Me and You Gaming, you're not a real fan. <laughs> Who saw, who saw what time I got home last night from work on Me and You Gaming? Can anybody answer? Melissa P., do you know what time I got home last night? Help us reach 1,000 subs. That's all we want, man. Aww. After 1,000, we want 100,000 subs. So it doesn't end there. Why is this closed like this, bro? Silky. Someone says it puts suction cups under the dog up stand to keep it stable. Do you think that will work? Maybe. It may work, suction cups. But I don't know, suction cups doesn't work on wood. Is the table going to be wood? If the table's wood, then it doesn't. It's not going to work. Cause I've actually tried using suction cup on wood, and it just doesn't work. It's like for some reason the cup doesn't stick to wood. It has to be like glass. Like suction cup has the greatest impact on glass or metal. The table's not metal. It's actually wood. But shoot, if I bought one, I would just weld it to the table, man. Somehow just put a bracket on it and just weld the bracket around the table and weld it to like the arm or something. I don't know. But every dog is different, you know? Like every dog has a different type of body, so then you can't move it. So that would be dumb. Maybe screw it onto the table would probably be best. And you could screw it, screw it through it. But I don't know. It's already too much. You want to be able to pick it up and put it wherever you want whenever you want instead of it being like stuck somewhere and you have to like and now you have to unscrew it to move it around it's just like time you're losing time time is money you're losing time so now you're losing money so i guess it does have it, it it should be a tool that you use at every single dog because Believe it or not, man. And Dee Dee's groomed the dog like in 30 minutes. It takes Dee Dee to groom this dog, for, and it takes her like 45 minutes without the dog upstand. And with the dog upstand, she gets it done like in 30 minutes. So that's 15 minutes that she can then now go do something else. Either start on another dog and make more money per hour, or start on a start emailing people, try to get some sales in, or something. 15 minutes she didn't have. 15 minutes that she cannot buy back. Because one thing you 
time is money, you know, so you can't buy time. That's the only thing you can't buy, no matter what. You go talk to a rich guy, they're, they're sleeping five hours because the only thing you can't buy back is time. So you'd rather take 45 minutes to give him a dog when you can be taking 30 minutes if you buy a $100, $150 dog up stuff. That's a pretty good deal to me. Case for itself. One time her her dogs would come in like filthy dirty ears and like we told her and ever since that day they don't even come in. It's like she cleans it before they come or something. <laughs> they no longer come in with dirty ears. Unless Dee Dee's cleaning them. But I'm gonna just clean I'm gonna try to clean them. Did Dee Dee clean the ears? like this buying action in the top in, in the kennel which is weird because she's not doing it no more yeah it looks like Dee Dee cleaned the ears or they're just really extremely clean there's nothing in there she might have cleaned them did somebody ask her if she cleaned them oh they're kind of a little dirty but if, she, if Dee Dee cleaned the ears then Barely, like nothing, almost nothing. No. Looks like just ear cleaner, maybe. Oh, there it is. Just like yellow. Yeah, I don't think she cleaned them. This year is different. Yeah, Dee Dee did not clean these. She did, I'm calling her out. If Dee Dee cleaned his ears, I'm calling her out. Didn't do ears, just pull hair. Okay, that's what I thought. Everybody, she, everybody's like, she did do the ears. Well, I'm calling her out, man. There's a little dirt in them. So. Ooh. Sometimes some dogs look so happy. Yeah, anyways, guys, if you haven't, smash the like button, smash the like button, subscribe, <clears throat> turn on notifications. Uh, go, go and subscribe to our Me and You Gaming channel. We're trying to make it to 1,000 subs. And then after that, we're going to try to make it to like 100,000. So, let's go. Help us out, guys. If you're a true fan, help us out. Just go subscribe, you know. You don't even have to turn on notifications if you're, if you're not a true gamer. You can eventually just stick around and watch the vlogs. Because I do have a, a vlog about um, Brownie's first day at the beach. But i kind of been lazy and haven't been doing that video yet. But I'm going to eventually bring it out. It's going to be on the Me and You Gaming channel. I just have to do some editing. I'm most likely to do it like next week. So if you guys missed out like on me and Didi going ski, ski, skiing and snowboarding and um, 
Brownie when he when he put his, his shoes on how he was running. <laughs> yeah. You guys gotta go watch those videos. It's a David and Didi playlist on Mini Gaming. I'm supposed to be busy over here and Dee Dee's gone, man. Dee's gone. But, um, yeah, be sure you go subscribe. I'll show you guys the symbol here in a minute, how it looks. So, y'all yeah, guys, don't go subscribe to the wrong channel. <laughs> that right there. Go subscribe to that channel right there. I'm about done with this dog already. Can you guys see that right there? Yep, you guys. So, uh, it, it did clean the ears. They didn't really come out too dirty, but here it is, look. For somebody that was asking asking about um, teeth, what we, what we use here, we sell it on our website, is this Pets Life Gel. And if you, um, pretty much it's made out of essential oils, so it's not that crap like peanut butter. Smell your breath, dog breath like peanut butter. It supposedly cleans your dog's teeth. It's not like that. This this is 100% natural ingredients. So all you do is just like either put some on your teeth and then put it on the teeth like that, or you just squirt it in the mouth and the teeth and just rub the teeth. And then with this, it's supposed to break down the plaque. It removes buildup. Noticeable results in 30 days. So you obviously have to do it with 30 days. So this bottle will probably be like. I don't know, like 60 days worth. So you start noticing after 30 days. Safe for dog and cats. So you can use it on dog and cats. I know essential oils sometimes you can't use on cats. But you can use this. this is, all it has is peppermint. Peppermint oil, thyme oil, neem oil, seed extract, grapefruit seed extract. Distilled water, grain alcohol, and some gum stuff. That's it. But go order some on myfavoritegroomer.com if you guys need to brush your dog's teeth. And this actually helps. Like sometimes, man, Saki's teeth be kicking. Like wow. Like Saki, can you please just stop breathing so hard? <laughs> Breathe out your nose. Close your mouth. <laughs> but you know, dog's not gonna do that. But uh. Yeah, I put some of that on her and takes it away for about a day or two. Finish drying her. It's like pulling back. So we're going. Don't tease the don't tease the ears because then they're gonna get matted, and Didi's gonna be like the ears are matted. I don't know if I should blow dry. She let all the other ones oh, air dry. She's pretty senior. Go rescue dog people. Go to your local animal shelter and go rescue a dog. Smash the like button, subscribe to support the channel, donate a couple bucks to support the channel. We got some other stuff, some other um, cute videos coming to you guys soon, so be ready.
don't know what you guys are talking about, but whoever said about using human toothpaste on dogs, we use human toothpaste. I don't know where the hell you got that from, but this is Pets Life Gel. Like, there's a picture of a dog. Dog. So this is a dog and cat friendly. Come on, people. Get with the program. Why y'all talking about um, human toothpaste? It's actually really good. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys back. If you guys haven't checked out the dog upstand, go check out the dog upstand at dogupstand.com. Order your dog upstand today. Like I said, saves your time in grooming. So dog up stands, available sizes, small, medium. Okay. Too and the big boy one, this is the large here. So it's available really large, small, and mini. Here comes Didi. Oh, uh, somebody asked if they could use human toothpaste. Hey, I, could, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know about the scientifically proven stuff, but Google it. Come on, you're lucky. Come on, you're lucky. All right, buddy, here we go. See, completely dry, you guys. Such minimal have, minimal stuff had to happen here. Awesome. I think it's personally less stressful to do that, too. Oh, I gotta hustle bustle, you guys. Gotta wrap it all up. And no more chit chatting. <laughs> I gotta move. Can I see this? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. You wanna sit, sit down? You wanna sit down? Sit down. Sit down. There you go. See this paw here. Remember I 
I told you guys you could probably do a seven down? I'm going to do that up here on his head. How you guys doing, man? I'm over here trying to hustle now. Got two big, 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 big dogs coming in soon. And I need to get these guys all wrapped up. So we want to get the nails done here. I don't really want this suction cup to the table. That's not really, I can't use it like that. That's not what I want to do. I don't think it would work. Just, I need to move it around too much. We have a tape dispenser that has suction cup. That thing sucked. We screwed it down. Yeah. But that we again we don't you don't want certain things moving around like that. You want to be able to move it fast, move it in and out. Suction cups are not going to work for me. Haven't you ever worked with suction cups? They don't even last either. I had a suction cup holding my cell phone. Do you not know that I turned a corner and that sucker went sliding and flew and hit the window? Heck no. I got rid of that suction cup quickly. Deck, come it. Boom! It was in the middle of the night too, and I was over here without my cell phone, driving. It had a maps location on it. Boom! In the middle of the night. I was like, son of a gun, man! It's over there on the floor now. You don't like that, buddy? Huh? Turn you this way. Come on, Dee Dee, move it. Move. You need to move, girl. Get your leave-in conditioner here in your favorite spray bottle. You don't want to sit down, do you? Sit down, sweetie. Sit down, sit down. Here, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah, good boy, Lucky. Let me see here. Lucky, let me see. Good boy, you're so sweet, man. It's all quiet. How many of you guys have a disabled dog out there? Do we get a subscriber? Oh, we got a donation. Renee Fisher, where have you been? You must have been working hard, huh? I haven't seen you in a while. 
What's up, Renee? Thanks for the donation. Everyone donate 20 bucks. Okay, let's see here. Did you just get here, Renee? She's like, no, Dee, I've been here all along. Do a little bit of leave-in conditioner here. You get your baby brush. And shape, shape this here this way down and out. Go here down, down and out. Yeah, shave down season, full in effect. Do you guys know what that means? Sh Renee, you shave dogs down? Girl, YouTube's not going to like that. They're going to be hating on you. <laughs> We're in Texas, man. We shave everything, right? Sometimes it's not even my choice. It's like, please shave my dog down. Sweating. Sweating. <laughs> Do some cologne here. Come on, baby, you need a hustle bustle. Hustle bustle, move. Move your body faster. Like, I don't care if your hand hurts, you need to move. Clean these ears real quick. He's so pretty, boy. Sweep this in here. Man, that dog up there is so helpful with your tripod animals. I'll tell you what. Lifesaver. Yeah, that's so cute. Okay, we got a hustle. Let's go. Let's go. Next one, huh? Next one. Okay, here we want to do just some, some minimal work, hopefully. Again, all completely dry, so that's great. We we'll just save, we we'll just save a little bit of that heart pumping, you know, when you skip a few things. And we didn't, we didn't need to blow dry. We could, but we didn't need to, because right now she's completely air dry. We might get to our last pup and she might not be completely dry because she was done last, you know, but if you do a tin all over, potentially you could just totally air dry the pet.
trying to hustle. That girl back there needs some company, doesn't she? Renee, are you out there? Renee, would you groom a dog without a groom loop? Would it be easy to groom a dog without a groom loop on the table? How many of you guys believe it would be hard to groom a dog without a groom loop on the table? How many of you already realize it's too hard to groom a dog on a table without a groom loop? this. We're almost done here. Come back there now. Groom loop is like six, seven, eight, ninety-nine, something like that, right? No, I'm thinking about something else I gotta tell you about. Mm. Mm. She's gonna tell me about something, guys. Something you won't know. <laughs> it's confidential. <laughs> it's confidential and privileged. A company sent us a, uh, you know, 21 years old freaking clock, a clock that tells you if you're 21 years old so that you can sell tobacco or not for, you know, they just randomly sent it. And he's over here opening it up. We don't need to use that. We got too much junk in here, clutter. And he wants to set it up and use it. I want to use it, bro. He'll be like, oh, sir, are you 21 years old? Here, how about your birthday? Stupid. Gosh, man. Don't use it for all these trolls. If you're under the age, get out. Stupid! <laughs> you guys hear me? Thank you for your subscription. Do you guys hear me what he's doing? Is that freaking ridiculous? Or what? You are obviously got too much time on your hands. That's all I got to say. While I'm over here hustle bustling, you're over here opening some package that does not need to be opened. Hustle bustle. I got my own way of talking, I suppose. Dad, gummit. I just pinched myself. Stupid. You shouldn't have been messing with that package to begin with.
If you know what I'm going through, put sake emoji, man. Put sake emoji if you know what I'm going through. Bro, Members only. Cut that barking off, man. She's like, what? I've never heard that, that figure of speech. <laughs> My mama doesn't talk like that. <laughs> See? She doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, maybe like that, right? Yeah. Who's that? Lucky? Yeah. Or the the Maltese? <laughs> Thanks. I love it too. Order one. It's on my favoritegirl.com under the face masks. It doesn't even fit my face, and I wear it all the time. Cause I don't want to open up a new one. They're all handmade in the United States. How many of you guys saw it when I was making it myself? Did you guys? Uh, see, how many of you out there have seen that video of me making it myself? Y'all know what I'm going through with David. Put the Protect your lungs. Put the sake. Put the sake emoji. Y'all know what I'm going through with David. I don't know what he's doing over here. Man, shut that door already. <laughs> what is he doing, you guys? Somebody's got to do this. Oh, my goodness. He's uh -uh. going to do the background work. That's something else. You know what I'm going through? Just put the dog sucky emoji. Sucky emoji if you know what I'm going through with David. Really, Renee Fisher? <laughs> she knows Sweet. what I'm going through. I think she might have even said, remind me, did you say I could not work with my husband? <laughs> if you could not work with your husband, say me, I could not work with my husband. I don't work with you. I just work by you. <laughs> That's exactly right. Like, uh, someone was like, he listens to you. I'm like, no, he doesn't. He does his own thing. He does not, he's not here for me. He just wants to be right beside me. If, if he's guilty of anything, it's being right beside me. Where's Dee Dee at today? I need to be right beside her. I have a lot of work to do, but I'm going to go stand right next to her. I'm just here on my off time. <laughs> Chilling. I'm just here to chill with you two. You probably are. Because as soon as you get home, all you do is game. You don't even do your own laundry. <laughs> I don't need to do my laundry, man. Yeah, because you don't need to change clothes or shower. <laughs> Why put my business out there, bro? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Come on, guys. I'm just kidding. Ooh, my hand is really hard. And I did not have a dog groom yesterday, did I? No, I don't know what's going on. By the way, you guys, don't forget to go buy your Hawaii gift. You guys want something from Hawaii? Yeah, if you want something, yep, exactly. Don't think that you guys will ever make it to Hawaii, then Dee Dee chooses out the best gifts. So for and I don't do this very, this is the first time I've ever done this. So, I mean, if you want something, I know a lot of you guys have said, oh, I wish I could go. Remember San Francisco? You're like, I'll never see San Francisco except for, you know, thanks a lot, Dee Dee, right? Yep. So, I give you guys an opportunity. It's not about money. It's your money. If you want me to shop for you, I'll do it out there. So... I mean, I'm not getting anything out of it. You know what I mean? I'm not profiting off of that. That's your money. I'm gonna go get it for you. I'm gonna mail you, mail you, mail you something. So, if that's something you wanted, something cute from Hawaii, just go purchase that package out there. Okay? Oop, we got a bunch of stuff coming out of the mouth here. Oh gosh, who's that? Is that Barbara? Yeah. What up, girl? Hey. How's it going over there? It's slow right now. It's slow? Yeah. You got change for a 20 there, David? Yeah. You might have to check somewhere else. Yeah, I got it. They, uh, tell David I said thanks for grabbing our packages. Okay. And that I thought David was inside the other day here. Yeah. And I was like, oh, just go inside. I made him deliver it and everything, man. <laughs> tell him, tell him, Didi didn't know that David wasn't inside. David was over here taking a shit. 
<laughs> Just say, da he walked in and delivered everything, David, okay? And you weren't even here. You were in the bathroom doing something. I don't even want to say. I don't even want to go there. I got to put my business on YouTube like that, man. How many times do I got to tell you? That's personal stuff, bro. <laughs> God, Even man. the dog's looking at you like, man, you let her down. You're not allowed to go to the bathroom. I'm out of here, man. You let her down. Our next door neighbor is David as well. That's why. <laughs> and he brought all my packages over. I was like, oh, David. He had his hands full. All of those packages right there. Oh, that's from somebody. Uh oh. What? I need to read that, man. You can scare me, man. Look at that. I need to open that on camera, I think. No. I need to get a vision. You need to figure out what it is first. Uh -huh. I do everything on camera, bro. You want to get all this out of the mouth, you know what I mean? Just be careful. Ready for that lick. Look at her teeth, you guys. Can you... Look at her poor teeth, look. Oh, I can smell right. them. I mean, she's not even oh mean, my man. Gosh. Look. Like a now. Oh, I'm so Lord. sorry. Can't I can't fix that here? I'm so sorry. She's not even screaming. We know. I already know. I had my dental done the other day. I've just been like four years. Let me tell you, I was in pain. I still am. My jaw. I can't even yawn without buckling my jaw. I don't know what they did while I was under. My mouth was so numb, I let them do whatever they wanted. They've had my jaw open so far, it was like dislocated. <laughs> Who knows? Dude, They're so sometimes, bad, man. Sometimes you just say things that don't sound right. They had my mouth up. They had my mouth wide open so much, they were like, shut your mouth. And I was like, it is. It is shut. I was like, I can't feel my mouth. And literally, I texted myself and let them read it. I said, my mouth is so numb, I cannot feel it. It is shut, I said. And it wasn't. It was wide open. Oh, shut your mouth, he said. I was like, it is. Your mouth is shut. I couldn't, even, I couldn't even breathe. God knows what they were doing in my mouth. Over here, freaking dislocated. Now I can't even chew right. We can sell? They were made? Oh! She sent me those. Betty sent me those. She made all those. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. Betty, I got your package, girl. Yeah. She said, if you can sell these, I'll make more. So maybe I'll show them out. She made all these things, just like some of y'all have. Diane Geary, your jewelry. Hey, Diddy, you profit off of these. That's exactly what some people have done. And I, some of the work is amazing. OK, come on, girl. I was drooling out the, uh-uh. Did you make these? Yeah, all by hand. Wow. Are they gorgeous? I'm impressed. Show them. I have to read the letter. I need to get to work, man. I smell poo. Yep. David. Dang it. Oh, gosh. Why are you running all in it? Sure. Oh, stop, stop. Shut the door. Shut the door. Poo everywhere. Gotta do that, man. Yeah, 
They always poop. Someone always poops in this crew. I always remind them too. Make sure they get time to poo. And I, I don't understand how they have so much in their body. Because they didn't get time to go poo. They have. They live in an apartment. She literally said, "Yes, I did." You can't hurry a dog. You need to give them time to go poo, man. But still, I think that dog was pooing. They're already making fun of me because they know how to pick it up. I'll take, I'll take care of it. <laughs> it's already all over the place. These are really beautiful. Dude. I know. They look beautiful. They I look like really, them. really. They look really, really nice. Really good quality, well, her face masks are freaking amazing, man. Oh, lady? Yeah. Oh, Betty. Right. Betty, I know you're out there. My Hawaii girl. The best thing is that it doesn't smell like smoke or anything, you know? Right, you're exactly. Like, there's no, there's no nasty smell to it. That's what I like. Quality products. Remember, we got a hustle bustle, bro. I'm so sorry. Hold on here. There's cleaner back there. Yeah. Stop the emoji on me, you know what I mean? I'm gonna make a freaking poop emoji next. Oh, yeah, you don't have time one. for that, bro. You, need, you have other things you need to do. There was a phone call I had to make recently, and um, I thought I valued my time. I will actually take some time and talk to some people, you know, on the phone. Sometimes I'm like, hey, I gotta go, because already you're talking for 20, 30 minutes. But I talked to this gentleman, and I tell you what, he said the whole time to me, he says, okay, you've already prepaid, right, for the phone call. And he says, um, all right, we've been on the phone 10 minutes now. And I start watching the time, too, because every minute he's charging me my time. And uh, I'm paying, right? And I had already paid a, paid a certain dollar amount for the phone call. And I said, go ahead and just take an hour's worth, right? So that you don't have to keep reminding me that every minute. I said, I do value your time, but you're getting paid for your minutes, right? But every four or five minutes, the gentleman says, Didi, it's been four or five minutes, so... He's letting me know every penny you're spending on this phone call, on this every penny or whatever, it's more than a penny, it's every 20 bucks. <laughs> every, uh, every minute that goes by, I'm going to remind you because you are paying for your time. And so I was like, let me get to my questions instead of wasting my time and my money. So that, again, reminds me, as long as I've been keeping, that there are industries out there that will not talk to you on the phone until you've paid a, a charge and then you get them on the phone and they start penny pennying every minute mm -hmm. and, let, and reminding me the whole time I kept saying just take an hour bro you know just take an hour and I need to talk to you but it reminded me to get to the point 
and don't riff rap about my dog is this and I, I mean I needed to get to the point I didn't need to tell him anything else but the facts and what I needed from him and this and that because he was charging me by the minute so just reminding you that value someone else's time too because he really made me realize how much I was paying for my time right Huh? Did he talk pretty slow? Yeah, he was slow. Am I slow? No, I'm not slow. I covered okay. ground, but then after you know 20, 30 minutes and we're we didn't get anywhere, then you gotta say, okay, I gotta go, right? I don't know if you say anything, but before you talk, I was like, they go to the restroom, and she's like, yes, yeah, no. What are you talking about now? The dog pooping. Well. You asked me, and I asked her again, right there while you were listening, and she said, yes, I did. And I'm really sorry you have to clean it up. That's why there's a fee. And yeah, there's a fee. There's a, a big, big, big sign that says, go potty. And we cover it. The first time, you know, okay, I kind of get it. You know, they might be nervous. But the 20th time, no. You need, to, and this is, it happens every time, you know, so we give them warning, all this and that. I know when I go to the veterinarian, if my dog poops while they do surgery, there's a fee, cleanup fee. And who's, I would expect that to happen more often in a veterinarian world than here, but it's the opposite, I think. It happens a lot in a groom salon. That's one of the biggest pet peeves us groomers have is that pet parents don't give their dogs time to walk. And there's a lot of, a lot happening, anxiety, nervousness. They just ate. Don't feed your dogs in the morning if they're going to go for grooming, in my opinion. Wait till after. Don't get them all filled up and then they excited and all this stuff. Because they haven't been here like six hours, you know what I'm saying? They've only been here a few. Imagine, imagine those places that are keeping dogs for hours, man. I'm sure they're cleaning up feces all day long then. I know you all know what I'm talking about. The groomers out there, I know you know what I'm talking about. I'm not over here just talking about riff raff. Uh, what I saw in that video last time, it's like they ain't even cleaning that up. It's like letting it sit there. Oh, where? California? Yeah. Or what are you talking about? Yeah, I got some stories. <laughs> it just makes me think of the stories I have. And I'm not able to really look at you guys. Every day they poop on you, don't they, Renee? If you're a groomer, you know I'm telling some truth here. I'm not just making it up. And you know you wish your boss would be like, look, it's, it's an extra charge if we have to stop and clean poop up. But quite frankly, if the dog is there eight hours, I would expect you to clean poop up. Because there's, if you can't walk the dog and it's been like eight hours, what do you think the dog is going to do? Come on. I was giving you some support there, girl. All right, come back here, do your seven blade like I did Lucky. Let's do that. Seven blade up here. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're going to peel out of here. Next two big dogs I'm going to do on the video. And we'll load it like in a week. See, we didn't have to blow dry any of them. They were just, we cycled them through, saved the time on it, let them air dry. We did shave down. So by the time we got back, the only thing I can see is a little bit damp is their ears here, which are fine, you know what I mean? All right, come back, get your um, shaper brush. Now, if I had given you homework, this is a great video to go through and see what did she use on all that, you know, what the tools did she use? Because you can see every tool I use is the same thing. Same thing for the a certain type of cut that you want. Just if you're going to order blades and stuff, you should order several. Several of the same type of blade you want, and 10 being the most common one that I use. Every groomer is different. Y'all out there watching other groomers, go ahead and ask them some questions and let me know. Do they write you back and talk to you and tell you what to do? I mean, literally send a message. Don't just do the YouTube thing. Because if you notice, people do, get to a point where they cannot even keep up with the comments. 
you know, there's just, it's impossible. Unless you have staffing. You ha have staffing and you're paying them to actually focus on your YouTube. David's been cleaning that the whole time so far. So what's that, 10 minutes of just straight cleaning? That's why there's fees. Is it that, that someone's job is cleaning. And if you are feeling the same way, why not implement it? I tell them over the phone, make sure you walk your pets when you get here. Make sure they go potty. Give them time to poop. I'm very clear. There's no hidden costs. There's no hot fees, hidden fees. We're straight up. We tell you about everything. You know. And, you know, you know about me. I like the proof. The proof is in the pudding. Did I already come to this hand? The proof is in the pudding. <laughs> it's quiet, you guys. I know he's back there still cleaning. If I if it was just me, I'd stop what I'm doing for 20 minutes and just clean poo. Does it stink? It does stink. I can still smell it. You can't even throw that stuff away inside the salon. You need to go take it straight to the dumpster. Because it'll just ruin every dog walk in after that is going to want to poo in there anywhere in there because of the smell. If you have dogs and you take them out somewhere, just depending on time of day, you may skip the meal, feed them later when you get home, or give them that extra walk to make sure they go poo outside, not inside. If you're going to a new house for pet sitting, or if you're going to the pet sitter, or if you're going wherever, you get the idea, right? Okay, come back with some more leave-in conditioner here. My favorite, you don't need a lot, you know, just a little squirt, squirt. We're gonna shape it a little bit here. Use the shaper, bring it out. Hers are thick, let's just go and get the brush. Make sure if you just got here, you smash the like button, hit share, share on your social media. We still got 110 watchers. That's cool. One day we might have it. I guess it's like a, what is it, maybe 1%. 1% actually catches the live feeds. Everyone else is at work, right? Except for Melissa P. She is at work, and she does catch the live feeds. She's for real, man. Just don't get in trouble. I mean, I'm sure you could push, like, if you have a device that you could have there just playing while you work, that could work. It doesn't intr intrude on your work. You can hear me talking about you. But like, see, I'm not even watching. Dee Dee still remembers me. Right, Melissa P? Get all this straight through like that. Don't, don't dig too hard here. The ear flap is real sensitive. Nice and easy. Let the brush do all the work for you. Arturo, you just got this copy paste thing down, man. Just got done, see? How long did it take me? It's right 13 minutes. There's a certain call I need to not pick up right now. Colleen, Texas. Clean Texas is calling. It's going to have to be in July. And before it can be a firm date or verify anything, you can verify the existing board for that right. This baby girl, she does. She has a missing paw back there, but she does want to stand up. Isn't it amazing? She wants to stay stood up the whole time. That way. Renee, are you at work today? 
What's going on? No, I'm not talking to you, David. He wants me to talk to him so bad, doesn't he? Saki emoji, man, if you know what I'm going through. Good God. Are you talking to me? He's over there. He's the kind of person. He's over there, and he still misses me right now. I'm blessed. I am. I'm blessed to have David, so I'm just giving him some... Giving him some hard time. Mikio knows what I'm going through, right? Mikio? Poo! Y'all know what I'm talking about with this poo. It was her. It was her poo. Makio was like, oh my god, leave her alone. Just let Dee Dee work, man. That's why she doesn't go live all the time. Yeah. Angela, come on, it's long distance, girl. Yep, she's in the chat. She has to be on the chat. She isn't going to just call me and not be on the chat because she's probably seeing something here. I wonder how that works. Okay, can you look up here? We can't do much if you keep looking down. Little by little here to figure out what we're doing. Look up. Look up. Okay, we got that side. Come shape this back down and look at it again. Some of you guys, you know, have asked me about, which I don't really talk about. Maybe a long time ago I did. I mean, there's over a thousand videos. If you don't know how to look at videos, go to YouTube, go to My Favorite Groomer logo and look at the actual channel that I have. But this tear stain stuff, there's all kinds of stuff on the market for them. And I have talked to veterinarians. I have tried some things myself. And what works best is just straight cutting it out and washing the dog's face with a water, water, <laughs> towel, like a, a your, that's why I sell these little cute towels so you can use them on your dogs. Saki has like one of the cutest towels. I got it in Japan, you know, so get them their own little towel and wash their face with soap and water or just plain water just wash their face off daily and then just keep this at bay and then when you trim back trim back all that gunky stuff yeah there's um stuff you can buy to put in their water i wouldn't personally do that it's up to you i talked to a veterinarian and i said you know this is what I, i'm wondering as a groomer because i don't have any white dogs and we're done here um the group the veterinarian that i talked to said Didi. You know, any kind of chemical you're going to put in their water and then they're going to drink that water all day, every day is going to have the effect on their organs. And that's exactly what he said to me. So I asked him for that information so that I could take that information and tell a client that wondered, what can I do for my Maltese with these drooly eyes? And I just trim them back, trim them back and keep them trimmed back. But wash your face with just simple soap and water or tearless shampoo and water or just water and a, a nice towel. And that towel is actually dedicated to the dog. That's the, my dogs have a dog face towel. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, I do need to clean her ears. That's why I sell some of those cute face towels. I'm always looking at face towels and always wanting to make sure I have some cute face towels for you guys to pick up because that's what I tell you to do is get de designate a face towel. And here in the United States, it's really hard to find some cute face towels, man. They always have to be Asian. 
you go all over Japan, Taiwan, Korea, Philippines, you're going to see like some of the cutest little stuff. And one of those things, especially in Japan, they're face towels, man. They're, they spend a lot of time making their face towels over there so cute. They do. They have some cute face towels. So serious, right? A face towel, Dee Dee? All right, we're about to wrap it up. And it gives me time to take a quick break. Yeah. What? Nope. This is the last one out of the set of three. Oh, goodness. I am a little hungry. So we're going to get ready to come back and just say goodbye. And then I'm going to go have a lunch. And then we're going to record the rest on video. So you got any last minute donations? This is a now time to do it. Everyone donate 99 cents for the feed and go on live sharing all that information with you and sharing entertainment with you and what we do. And then let me be right back. Smash the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. I said smash the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. Oh, let me go through that. Let me get, um... Thanks guys for all all the uh, support. Get this light. I kind of look a little orange, man. It's like, do I look orange? This light's too bright. Thanks, Cindy Burn Burnett, for the 1.99. Why is it orange, man? Mr. P, thanks for the two. Last minute, that's awesome. Melissa P, Cindy, thank you. Woohoo! Awesome. Thank you for your last minute donations. Goes a long way. Melissa P, we're going to get your iPad out to you probably tomorrow. I'm getting some stuff together for you on that. And I need to text mom, so just bear with me one more moment. Um, let me text the mom. Pet, pet, let me tell you the pet sitter that we're done here. Pet sitter. Smash the like button, guys. Subscribe. Uh, go check out Menu Gaming. Um, you guys need any toenail clippers, trimmers? You don't know where to go. You guys need some Anis Cool Care. Keep your clippers cool. And sanitize and clean and disinfect and lubricate and cleaner and rust prevention. Go get that at myfavoritegroomer.com. Nikia, what's up? Thanks for the like update. We got 102 watching, 148 likes. That's awesome. I wish we can get to 200 likes. That would be amazing. But I'm sure all you guys probably liked the video already. 99, please go live on your next dogs, please, Didi. Roblox, cool, Steve, baby, hi. Roblox is a game, so if you haven't checked out our gaming channel, go check out our gaming channel's menu gaming. Looks like that right there, menu gaming. Barbara, Jocelyn, thanks for the 279 Canadian money. Maybe you can speak a little about career grooming. We don't oh, know yeah. much about career grooming, but there's different laws over there, so they might have different laws. Korea or career? Co Korean. Oh, Korean. So they might have some laws where they're allowed to do that type of stuff while they're dog grooming. I don't know. So. 172 likes. Come on, guys. We can get to 200. Let me, let me pull this up real quick. Hit the like button, man. Who has not hit the like button already? I swear, bro. Some of you guys don't listen. I'm pulling it up, man. No, 
this picture I have of uh, 175 likes. Come on, guys, it's only 25 more to go. 25 out of 92 people. I hope there's at least 25 people that have not hit the like button. You guys still slacking, you know? The gaming channel, you see the the Nightbot posting a link about it that says um, go check out our, our other channel. It's there. It's Mean You Gaming. Just type in Mean You Gaming. Symbol looks like that, blue with fire. Okay. What's up, Julie? All right, you guys, I got a few minutes here, so I'm going to go catch a quick little nibble and uh, grab something to eat. 180 likes. Come on. There's only 20 more. 200 more likes, 200 I guess. Likes you 200 right likes. By the end of it. 200 likes. Can I get 200 just likes? I apologize in advance for him. Come on. He's watching the countdown, you guys. So you got some people going to go unlike 19 and like. likes. Come on. More people are liking? Like, you guys didn't like it? Oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna refresh I have it. to say thank you for being here. Thanks for watching me groom these three dogs today. Same owner. Don't forget to tell them not to poo. Go outside and poo before you come in. Don't be afraid to say it. And you can say, look, I watched a groomer have to stop what she's doing and clean it for 20 minutes. That's it, you know. So whatever, use me as your excuse, as your scapegoat. But just tell them, hey, go to my favorite groomer and watch their YouTube. <laughs> Thanks for being here. I hope you guys uh, have a great day. And I gotta go get something to 18 eat. more likes, man. Just 18. 18 more. Go Turn check out dogupstand.com. And what else? What else we got? Turn your phone sideways like this and hit the like button, man. Oh, that's true. That's, you know, that's true. I'm so yeah, hungry. So I'm, losing, I'm losing my thoughts Pretty here. I'm hungry, too. You ate something already. We almost have 150K subscribers. Come on, guys. 16 more. 16 more. We're almost there. He's good at math, isn't Come he? On, He's good at math. More. All right, we love you. Thanks for watching. Share, 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 and we'll see you soon. Thanks for all your donations today. It helped us keep us going live. I want to go live, but we learned that if you go live back to really? back, you don't, even, it, man? you don't even get just uh, you don't even get notifications for it if I go do that. So we started realizing that. Never know what's gonna happen. At least we got a dislike. You got yeah. something. All right. All right, love you guys. Right, see, see you, you guys later. Guys Bye. They're probably mad at you for con continuing pounding on that. I shouldn't have to beg, man. Go. I'm going to check one more time. <laughs> like, I'm tired of talking to David. Tell him over here. He's over here ask, telling us what to do. We don't like you, David. 14 more likes. Oh. 14 more. All right, you guys. Thanks for liking the video. Subscribe and share. Bye. Check the light count now. Somebody check the light count for us. There's only uh, how many people are still out there? Seventy-two people. The die hard 72 people right here. 185, man. Somebody's, somebody's messing with us, man. Somebody's messing with us. Whoever did that dislike button, hit the like button and dislike it. You're messing with us. I'm disappointed. Are you going to be there? That's true. So, Miss Betty, Miss Betty Dyer has been making our face masks for. Uh, uh, so, some new styles that we got. So Miss Betty Dyer sent this to me. She did tell me she was gonna send me something and I could do whatever I wanted with them. 
and she said you said I think I have to look back at the email but she's got a little note here let's just check out what she got and we'll close out with that so these are not like gifts to me these are um, something I can do something with but let's see what she says hey Dee Dee and David this is a short note to say that I am going these doggy are what <laughs> something I couldn't read it either I was like okay let me start over this is a short note to say that I am giving these doggy something Horse. doggy something night bag to you to do what you wish I made them when I was doing the craft shows. I know you like to give gifts, so maybe you can keep them as, keep them, or give it as, as gifts. I hope you can do something with it. Love you guys, Betty Dyer. Betty, thank you so much, I appreciate you, I love you. She just randomly started sending me face masks and I needed that and I really appreciated it. So she is, her workmanship is on point, okay? Like, it is amazing Beautiful, workmanship. Bro. She could probably go work for, like, Louis Vuitton look or something. At this little look at this little, look at this little bone. It, it has a squeaky toy in it. Does there. it? Yeah. No, it squeaky. doesn't. Yes. Here, my hand hurts, so. Oh, it does. Brownie would love this. Oh, my gosh. Brownie has to get that, right? So the inside, it's got little, oh, my goodness, the workmanship is amazing. You can see the little pockets and stuff here. This is handmade, you guys. She made all this by hand. It's a beautiful. The inside has got little paw prints. It's a little purse here. She's got this little bag tag. Really? Come on. This is beautiful. Look at the work. It's all handmade. You may or may not have her mask yet. Um, Mikio, you might have one of her masks. The quality is different. And uh, Hello. Look at this, it's gorgeous, you guys, this is gorgeous. So you may or may not find these on my website later, I'll let you know. You'll, you'll have to look under the gift section. I may or may not put some out there, I may save a stash or two, unless I get a personal request that somebody wants one and I will put it out there so you can actually go purchase it and I will give Betty money back. I would never take advantage of somebody. So, same thing, this one has a bone like this. Look, they all come together. Man, if you have a Yorkie, your Yorkie will fit in there. Look at this one. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this black bone. This is so cool. I think I can. I think I smell the plastic. This plastic thing. I'm to air them out. So pretty. Sue, I'll gift it. Sorry, I just picked my nose. I got hair on my nose. Um, Sue, which one do you want? Is that, I'll gift it to you because you gave me such an astride. Sue? Sue, Tennessee Grandma Groomer. David's over here. Stop giving stuff away. Okay, come on, kid. Those are beautiful turquoise. Alrighty. Of well, course, turquoise is the okay. most common. Right, thanks a lot. I so you beautiful. Guys this is actually beautiful. I, I believe we have a ma matching uh, face mask right there. Okay. When you have time, go subscribe later. Check them out. They were going live today. You are going to see you later. See you later. See you later. I'll be the door.
somebody to email me their address too the other day and I never got it right okay so uh, we're gonna do a free bag of your choice for Sue and a free bag David was like Lillian and a free bag of your choice in this set for Lillian so and we'll ship that to you I want to say thank you both thank you for your gift Sue thank you for your emails and your love I see it and feel it and uh, thank you Lillian for your huge amounts of donations I always love to give back I don't know a lot of people on YouTube that do that I really don't they are not listening to you. <laughs> you know, I really am affected by you and I am touched by some of you to a deeper level than what we can share here on a YouTube channel. So we have taken it out of YouTube and become friends. So thank you so much for, I see it and your donations show me big time, but I would never take you for granted. And I want you to know that's the kind of person I am. So Lillian, be sure to email me your mailing address and which one you want. I kind of need to know that today. So I need to know, so I can know which ones to put online and which ones I can still give away. Cause I do want you to get your dib. And then, um, Sue, which one did you want? You're it's here with me now. So Sue did turquoise. <laughs> Really? It's my favorite color. That's, okay. that's a nice one. I also like the black one and the and So let me write gray. that down now before I like I the off. black one and the orange one. And the, I also like the blue one too. I'm not a fan of this one though. They're all pretty though. This one is too. Okay, so we got Sue here. And I think it's O-D-O-M. Yeah, yeah, Autumn. yeah. Autumn. That's this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, kind of roll it up so it's gonna fit in a uh, priority. I'm not gonna send the cushioning. And then um, is Lillian? Are you out there? Lillian, you were out there today. I enjoyed being part of this family. Thanks, Arturo. Arturo. Appreciate you. We'll Arturo. be sending your your gift uh, today. So thank you for. I've been slacking, but I've been so busy. I know you understand because you saw me in California the Those other day. Are beautiful. <laughs> Bennett says. Thank you so much, Betty Dyer. Uh, I will be gifting you money because I know that the, you know, money counts. So I'll be gifting you some money for your time and efforts and anything I sell, I will gift you back. Of course, you know I'll take care of you. Um, thank you so much for you guys being here. I really appreciate it. So Lillian, are you out there? I'm waiting a couple more seconds here for Lillian. Okay, you guys, who, who can do a like? A like? How many likes did we get? Did we get Arturo, I might likes? not be able to see those. Do you know what, t can you repeat it real fast? Because uh, when I scroll back later, no, I, I just not going to time. Those, those Asian channels how the dogs are falling asleep he thinks are that they should have sedated oh i was thinking the same thing but well, i don't we, you know. but it can be it can be good they can they can probably do that in korea you don't know the laws over there you could not see some of the dogs i groom in that doing that they're not going to let you they do all know. that there's just impossible so um tell me tell me that you don't think it's a, that something you know what i mean yeah. and it's not live is it is it live yeah, some one of them some will do but but yeah, we can't, we can't, well, I don't want to go there. I don't know. I don't want to go there. I don't, it's like accusations. I don't want to go there unless I know for sure. Text me the price, Didi may buy one for my auction. Okay, so Mikio, sounds good. And then um, uh, last thing, Lillian, I'm waiting on you. Lillian, are you out there? She's probably already gone. Arturo, we don't know though. I don't know if what's going on. Did you ask that channel? Ask that channel and see if you get an answer. You may have to um, translate it yourself into Korean or whatever language they might be, because there's so many, right? I don't know what you're watching. Um, you may have to transit. And no, not live. Yeah, I didn't think so. Bro, no dog is going to be going to sleep. No. I'm, pretty, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty confident to say that I'm one of very little live groomers out there. I really want to be able, I haven't had time to research it all the way, but I want to say, like, nationwide, I'm, pretty, I'm the only live groomer, right? I'm pretty confident to say that. Not the only, we but... Are, we are one of the only ones that is doing live on 1080p. We're o the only live groomer on HD, 1080p HD, HD which is uh, huge. It's a lot of equipment uh, funding. And we can do 4K. We just don't know if you guys would be able to load 4K. It's just not necessary right now. Maybe in a few years we'll do 4K. But we could... Really? Arturo, really? I guess I haven't watched the one you have watched, but I wonder. It makes you wonder. 
you know, we we all can speculate, but we're not there and we don't really know, do They're we? They're like, are you sleeping? Interesting. Well, I don't oh. know, you guys, because if you, if you bathe the dog and you're over there, like, bathing the dog and you're messing with the dog's face, they kind of tend to close their eyes and act like they're falling asleep for some reason. So maybe they're doing it so comfortably that they're falling asleep. Who knows? I won't know because I don't have that much time with an animal, do I? I usually am, we're in and out in an hour, so it's not the way I've designed my business. It's really hard to say, but but when we travel... I will ask, there's a groomer I know in Hawaii that I'm going to see if she'll let me work with her for a day or record. And I think she does the same kind of grooming. So I'll see if she lets me go behind the scenes. Oh, we'll, yeah. we'll ask her. She might be able to show us some stuff. <laughs> you guys be interested? I, I think she'd be down. I, I don't know if she'll be down. You know, I sent her a client. Um, you know who you are in Hawaii. I sent you to over to that first groomer, the fine or whatever, the fine dog shop. And they were like, we're not taking new clients. I was like, oh, snap, they're not taking new clients. I was like, oh, interesting. All right, you guys, love you. Lillian, I'm looking for you. Love you guys. Email me, Lillian. Thanks for your donations. I appreciate you. Love you guys. We'll see you on myfavoritegroomer.com. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.